Forget what's on the other side. For the next hour, plenty of action, drama and suspense will be provided courtesy of this mighty machine. Will today's tale end with a £10,000 win? It's time to find out on Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Richard, a chef from Nottingham. I'm Pauline, a midwife from Whitley Bay. And I'm Sarge, a flight attendant from Milton Keynes. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or, if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But, also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop, and should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game, so keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Hands on your buzzers, here comes your first question. When referring to a popular dessert, banoffee is a blend of the words banana... Sarge. Toffee. And which other sweet food stuff it is? Toffee, yes, Sarge, absolutely right. You weren't going to be beaten there, were you? Now, are you going to play or pass the first counter? I think I'm going to play. OK, where are you going to go? Let's give drop zone number one a try, please, Ben. Drop zone one it is. Here we go, Sarge. Let's see how generous the machine's feeling today. Oh, hard on the left. Could hard be good if you're left. flat. Is it flat? Yes, it is. It is flat. Nice. Good start for you, Sarge. Are we going to open your account with the first counter? Looking good so far. And that's three across okay. the tipping point. Nice start for you there, £150. Thank you. Let's take that from the machine and put it straight in your bank. Gets you off the mark, and you've still got two counters left as well. Thank you, Ben. Here's your next question. Ya Ya Ding Dong and Husvik are songs from a 2020 Will Ferrell comedy film about which international music competition? Richard. Eurovision. It is about Eurovision, the Eurovision Song Contest. Richard, are you going to play this one, or would you like to pass to Pauline or Sarge? I'm going to play this one. OK, where are you going to play? Drop zone one. There's a couple teetering on the edge. Let's see what happens. Fire one up, please. <laughs> Similar side. Oh, and it settles nicely. Oof. Need the top shelf to squeeze hard here. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, there you go, Richard. Good. Well done. And that's three across the tipping point for you there, nice. including the one that jumped out of the machine for you, Richard. <laughs> 150 pounds. <laughs> Let's take that and put it into your bank. That draws you level with Sarge. And you've got two counters still to play as well. Here's your next question. Which British former world number one tennis player was defeated by Stan Wawrinka in the first round of the 2020 French Open? Sarge. Andy Murray? Yes, it was Andy Murray, yeah. Now then, Sarge, are you going to play again? I think we should let you have a go. Passing it to Pauline. <laughs> oh, thank you. Right then, Pauline. <laughs> so I'm just putting you into well, play here. Well, I can see the double on the top shelf. Drop zone four, Ben. So I think I'll, if you like, the drop zone four, please. Drop zone four, please. Ooh, oh, could have done with that set. Come on. It's not far off the double if it go goes flat, flat for you go there, flat. Pauline. Go flat. Oh, it's riding. Oh, it's riding. First one of the day. <laughs> I'm not sure you're going to get anything there. Sadly, no. nothing at all, Pauline. Still got two counters left, though. Yeah. Here's your next question. Located on the south shore of Oahu, the famous surfing resort Waikiki Beach is located in which US island state? Richard. Hawaii. It is Hawaii, yeah. Nicely done. Uh, are you going to play, Richard? I might try and take Pauline's double that she's eyeing up, so I'm going to go for drop zone four. Let's do it. Fire four up, please. Another steady, slow drop. It could be nice, but we don't want a rider. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Let's squeeze it through. Can that double come forward? Certainly. Can it come down? Not sure. Yes! Ooh. Well done, Richards. 
certainly gets it down and into play. And that is very nicely positioned. One counter did drop for you, Richard. Let's right. give you £50 for that silver one. And put it into your bank. It's going to sneak you into the lead on £200. OK, here comes your next question. The Albert Memorial in London's Kensington Gardens was commissioned by which British Queen after the death of her husband? Pauline. Queen Victoria. Yes, it was Victoria. Well done, Pauline. Would you like to pass this one, Pauline? No, I think I'll play, ben. I think that's wise. Yes. And I think I'll go for drops on four. Let's do it. Four up, please. Oh, Quicker drop. Go flat. Oh, no. Go flat. You need this flat. Please, that please, black please. counter. Flat. Oh, Paulie, oh, another, another one. Another rider. Now that's quite tightly packed. You might get the mm. silver one in the corner over. Good squeeze. Go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Now, go on. a bit of lateral's going to help. Go on. Go on. It does help. Well mm. done, Paulie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oof, that was tense. Ten counters for you, Pauline. Really nice. Five hundred pounds. Thank you. You can take that and put it into your bank. It puts you in the lead. And you've got one counter left to play as well. Right, here's your next question. Matt Lucas opened the 2020 series of The Great British Bake Off with an impression of which UK Prime Minister? Richards. Boris Johnson. Yes, it was. Good old Bojo. Would you like to play or pass, Richards? Am I in up drop zone two now? There's a bit going off on the bottom for that. Drop zone two? Drop zone two. Light it up, please. Come on. Yes. Ooh. Flat, Richard. And then going over the top. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Oh, no, sadly not, Richard. It's not given up. Not good enough. So that was your third and final counter. I'm afraid you have used all three. No you've problem. got yourself £200. For the time being, you are out. So, Pauline, you've got one counter left to play. Sarge, you've got two. OK. Here's the next question for the two of you. Dutch inventor Hans Lippershey is credited with being the first person to make a patent application for what optic device used to look into space? Sarge. Telescope. It is a telescope. Yeah, nicely done. Well done, Sarge. Now, what are you thinking? I think I'm going to give drop zone number two a go, please, Let's ben. do it. Fire up two, please. Ooh. Not far off there, is I it? I want it to ride. Hopefully it shouldn't ride. They're a bit too heavily stacked. That's good. Is that flat? That's Sarge, yeah. yes. Nice and flat. flat. Okay. Fingers crossed. So can we take out Richard's counters that he'd left? Oh, it's oh. hanging there on the edge. No. Unlucky. Sarge. Unlucky, Sarge. It wasn't to be. As Pauline says, unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your next question, Pauline and Sarge. Argentinian revolutionary Ernesto Guevara de la Serna is better known by what first, Sarge? Shea. Yes, what first name? It is Shea Guevara. You're absolutely right. Sarge, are you going to play again? I am going to play again, please, Ben. It's got to be number two again, hasn't Let's it? It's hanging it. over the edge there. Let's have two, then. Sarge, so you are in play. There's one already. Keep an eye on it. <gasps> looking good, looking good, Sarge. And that's two more. Sarge, that's three across the tipping point. For you there, £150. Very timely. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. And that puts you into second place now on £300. You have now used all three counters, though, so for the time being, you are out. OK. So, Pauline, it's just you left in. Right. Because it's okay. just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine. Here we go, then, Pauline. The American singer who released two UK number one albums in 2020 is Taylor Who. Swift. Yes. Well done, Pauline. Where do you want to go? Four's been good, so I think I'll go back to four, Ben. Job zone four? Yes. Let's do please. it. Fire up four, please. Double's getting closer. There's a nice mm -hmm. little cluster on yes, the edge as well, is. isn't there? Yeah. Oh, it's flat. Mm. Lovely. Lovely. Looks right behind the double. If the go on, go on. Play. Go on. It does. Come on, come on. One. Oh, well done. Lovely, thank you. Four counters dropped, Pauline. Another £200. You've worked it very nicely. Let's take that on the machine and put it into your bank. That means at the end of the round, Pauline is leading with £700. Uh, Sarge has £300. He's just ahead of Richard on £200. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at that £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. If you'd like a brand new Tipping Point experience, then why not try Tipping Point Blast? You can download it on Google Play and the App Store for free and play wherever you are, whenever you like.
Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Richard, Pauline and Sarge are battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be eliminated from the game. So, Pauline, you are leading the two boys Thank coming you. into this round, so you get to choose. Would you like to play first or would you like to ask Sarge or Richard to play? I think I'll play, Ben. OK, I'll 45 play. seconds for you, Pauline. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? 45 seconds for Pauline, please. Your time starts now. The third James Bond film to feature Roger Moore is The Spy Who Loved What? Me. Correct. In 2020, Ian Barraclough was appointed the manager of which UK national football team? Scotland. Northern Ireland. In UK cooking measurements, how many teaspoons are equal to one tablespoon? Four. Three. Guerrilla Tactics is a 2002 exhibition of pots by which Turner Prize winning artist? Lowry. It's Grayson Perry. The Bedlington Terrier and the Afghan Hound are breeds of which domesticated canine animal? Dog. Correct. In 2017, a luxury sleeper train called the Shikishima took its maiden journey in which Asian country? China. Japan. Which US pop singer had a UK top 10 hit in 2020 with the song 34 plus 35? Do you know? Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Oh, Pauline, just two correct answers, I'm afraid. Only two counts to the machine. What are you thinking? I'm thinking there's a mystery prize on the top shelf. So, Ben, I think I'm going to go for Drop Zone 2, please. Drop Zone 2 it is. Oh. Go flat, please. Go flat. You might just nudge flat, that black please, count down. Please. Yes, it yes. is looking good, Pauline. Come on, come on, come on. Go on, be nice. Be... Oh, yes. yeah, there you go. Fab. Peeled them all off in the end, didn't it? Come on, come on. That's lovely. Thank you. Oh, That'll crikey. do. Thank you very much. The double survived. It's a lovely 10 counter drop for you, Pauline. 500 pounds. Thank you, Ben. And you've got one more to put in. I think I'll go for drop zone two again, Ben, please. OK, drop zone two it is. Oh, that's... Oh, no, we need it flat. Please don't if ride. That goes please flat. don't ride. Go flat. There's flat, please, the machine. Point. That's yes. it. Lovely. I think you could be on for the double there. Yeah, yeah. Could come, be on, big, come, this, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Uh, is it going to go? Go on, is it please. Go on, go on, go on. It's oh, going to go. Well thank done. Thank you. I'll take that's that. It's a massive thank drop. You. Seven more for you, Pauline. So £350 we can add for those seven. But, of course, one of them's the double, so let's give you another 350 Lovely. That takes you. your total in the machine to £1,200. Very, very nicely Thank done. You. Let's put that in your bank, and that's going to leave you on £1,900. You've set the bar very high for the boys. Let's see what they can do. So, Sarge, you are ahead of Richard, so it's your choice. You could play next, or you could ask Richard to play. I think I'd like to play next, please, Ben. OK. 45 seconds for Sarge, please. Your time starts now. Which cartoon series is set in the fictional prehistoric town of Bedrock? The Flintstones. Correct. In 2017, a statue of Rod Laver was unveiled at the venue of which Grand Slam tennis tournament? The Australian Open. Correct. In which century AD is the Italian Renaissance generally believed to have begun? Pass. 14th. Who directed the 1980s films The Princess Bride and When Harry Met Sally? Pass. Rob Reiner. Fashion company Levi's is best known for making blue jeans out of which durable cotton material? Denim. Correct. The TV series Dennis and Nasha Unleashed features characters from which children's comic? Beano. Correct. Which former US president had the Secret Service codename Eagle? Pass. Bill Clinton. Known as the powerhouse of a cell, what is the name of the organelles that generate energy from food in the body? Mitochondria. Uh, Sarge, four no correct answers in the end, four? so not too okay, bad. Not bad. Decent return, that. Four counts put okay. into the machine. So four chances to try and close this gap on Pauline. Yeah, what do you think? Pauline has strength and <laughs> She's way ahead of us, isn't she? So, what do you think? Let's Sarge? go with drop zone three, please, Ben. Let's have drop zone three. Not been used yet, so the top's full. Nice quick drop. drop. Yeah, yeah, love it. Anything going to go? <gasps> ah, oh, it's the machine's on the edge. It. The machine's keeping it. Another one dangling. What do you want to do now, Sarge? Let's stick with drop zone three, please, Ben. Drop zone three again. Oh, he's oh, climbing back up. Don't ride. A little nudge on the silver one. Is he going to ride? I hope not. It is. Oh, Friday. just yeah. slightly. Mm. So that anything on that silver one could just release it. What? 
Oh, not enough, though. Tucked inside. Two more to go, Sarge. Two more to go. Stick with drop zone three, please. Three again. Oh, listen, that's better. OK. That silver one should go now, surely. Oh, oh. Sarge, you're kidding! The machine's being a bit mean. Really clinging on to those counters. Mm. That's three you've put into drop zone three, and nothing's Not gone over the top shelf yet. Drop zone three's keeping a hold of them. Oh, you've got one more to go, Sarge. We need to get something to try and put some pressure on Richard. I've committed to three. Let's let's see if anything gives. Drop zone three, please, Ben. Three again. <laughs> on the other side now. Is it gonna? Oh, oh Sarge! Oh, can you believe it? <sighs> You put four counters into drop zone three and nothing is going Nothing's to go, I'm afraid. Out. So you stay on 300 pounds. That is really brutal. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Right, Richard, great opportunity for you here. Yeah. 45 seconds for Richard, please. The time starts now. Produced by Tetley, Extra Strong is a brand of which type of hot beverage? Tea. Correct. How many points are awarded for scoring a try in Rugby Union? Two. Five. Valerie by Amy Winehouse and Mark Ronson was a cover version of a 2006 UK top ten single by which band? The Kooks. The Zootons. In 2020, Philip Davis married which former TV presenter and fellow Conservative MP? Pass. Esther McVeigh. In the English spelling, the chemical element phosphorus begins with which letter of the alphabet? P. Correct. Which Argentinian city hosts the annual World Tango Championship called the Mundial de Tango? Spain. Buenos Aires. Which 2020 Amazon Prime series follows the adventures of a teenage spy created by Anthony Horowitz? Pass. Alex Ryder. Which American dramatist won the Pulitzer Prizes for his plays Fences and Piano Lesson? It was August Wilson. Ah, uh, right, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> two correct answers for you, similar to Pauline, two counts put into the machine. What are you thinking? I'm going to go for three. Five on three, please. It just feels like it leaves a li little nudge and that whole shelf could go. Big old bouncing drop. Oh, it's looking good. Looking good, might get that. Come on. One section there isn't any. <laughs> there you go, that's how close they were. And if you get some movement on the double, wouldn't be bad either. Two sneak in. Those two cross the tipping point, and that means you're going to draw level with Sarge when that £100 goes into the machine. You've got one more to put in. I'm going to have to go to drop zone three again. There's still a couple more on the edge. Fire up three, please. A little smooth drop on the right. Is the top shelf going to go? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yes, it does. We only I need the one to go through. Oh. Just keep Ooh. an eye on it. No, it's on the top shelf, top shelf. There, oh. it did oh. drop. But too deep on the shove. I'm afraid, Sarge, that means we're going to lose you. We found my tipping point, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Three more for you there, Richard. Another £150. Just your two counters, but it's enough to put you through. Takes you 250 in the machine, let's put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, well Pauline done. is well in the lead with £1,900. Richard goes through with £450. Sarge, I'm so sorry. It's been great, but with £300, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. It's a pleasure, Ben. Thanks Good for having me. Good to meet you, Sarge. Cheers. Thank you. So it is Richard and Pauline who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Richard and Pauline. Very well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to be taking on the machine for our jackpot today. So you're a chef by trade, Richard? Yes. And I understand it. Was it your grandma who was a big fan of Tipping Point? Well, my great-grandma it great was. Grandma. Yes. Well, we used to watch it all the time. We used to have ice creams all the time because I'm not a big hot drinker. We used to walk in and get two out, go into the front room, we'd just sit and watch, well, Game show's tipping point, mostly. Amazing. And you've got a bit of a tribute to her as well, haven't you? I have, yes. Well, I got her name in the logo of her favourite ice cream and her favourite flavour on my shin. Can we have a quick look? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Lovely tribute to your great-grandma. Amazing. Keep digging away at our machine. You never know. You could get enough to try and close this gap, because Pauline, very well played by you. Thank you. You've done a cracking job so far. Uh, you're a midwife by I trade, am, then, yes. Pauline. How yes. long have you been doing that? 
30 years now, Goodness ben. me. Do you yeah. know how many babies you've delivered over that time, do you think? <gasps> Could you guess? About a thousand. About a thousand? Yeah, I think, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And, and you remember every single one, of course. Of course, of course. Uh, well, I tell you what, the machine has certainly taken a liking to you up till now, Pauline and giving you a lot of counters to celebrate. If that keeps going, you could well be playing for our jackpot later on today. Please. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately on your question. You can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, I'll give you a counter. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent gets the counter. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be our winner today. You are still leading, Pauline, mm -hmm. so you get to choose. Would you like to play first or would you like to offer the first question to Richard? I'd like to play, Ben. First one for you then, Pauline. In which decade did Elvis Presley have his first UK number one single? I'd like to play. You'd like to play this one, OK. You an Elvis fan? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you remember what this song was, his first number one? No, no, no? OK. Really. But what decade would you say, then? 19th. So we're looking for the decade. You've got 19th, Pauline. If we pass this over to you, Richard, what would you have said? Which decade? 20s. No, not 20s. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible with you didn't Elvis know. and everything now. You didn't know. Not a clue. OK, so Pauline, you're an Elvis fan. You've given me the 19th. Let's see, is it right? So in the decade, Pauline, we're looking for the 10 years that it dropped in. So it's the 50s, the 1950s. Right, I think right, you... I see. So Richard, you get the counter, because Pauline was wrong. Where do you want to put it? I'm thinking Drop Zone 3 again. There's a nice little cluster at the oh, bottom. That's good, doesn't it? Yeah. It just needs a little bit of a shove, doesn't it? Drop Zone 3, please. Get amongst it. There you go. Over on the right. We need something over the top. Come on. Ooh, ooh a couple. Ooh. The mystery could go. The double's going to get a little nice. Yes. That's a nice, nice drop. Well done. Seven counters, Richard. £350. Very timely. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. And it puts you on £800. You've also got your hands on a mystery prize, which is an ultimate London adventure speedboat ride for two people, courtesy Ooh, of wow. Thames Rockets. Which should be great nice. fun. You keep control as well, Richard. So time for your first question. Based on a film starring Bill Murray, which musical features the songs If I Had My Time Again and Punk Satorny Rock? You can play this or you can pass it to Pauline. I'm going to pass this one. Passing it over? Yes. All right, Pauline, here we go. Let's steal this if we can. Did those songs ring any bells? Mm, no, that, no, no okay. they didn't really. Do you know Bill Murray? No, not really, Ben. Oh, OK. No, I don't. That gets tricky, <laughs> that's then. That's a problem. Oh. So a film that's become a musical? Chicago. Should go to Chicago? You've got to give me something? Yes. Uh, Richard, you into your films? I am big into my films, believe it or not. But did you have any Bill Murray films that you thought may have been made into a musical that you can think of? The only one that I think of that sticks out, and it's quite a caddyshack, but... OK. Let's see, Pauline, if you're right. We know it's been made into a musical, of course. Was Bill Murray in it? Yeah. Is it Chicago? It's not, no. Groundhog Day, the musical. The brilliant Tim Minchin has written the music oh, and the lyrics. Yes. Do you remember Ground Groundhog, Groundhog Day, Day now. of course? Yes. <laughs> Sadly, Pauline, you were wrong. Richard, you get the count. Where do you want to put it? I'm going to go Drop Zone 2 this time. Drop Zone 2 it is. It's flat. It is flat. Flat, Richard. And then coming over the top shelf, that's what we need. Yeah. Can we get something here as well? Oh, yes, oh, you can. Well, done, well done. Four across the tipping point. Leave a few there, but let's take that £200. You are slowly chipping away at this lead. Let's put it into your bank, put you on £1,000. Right, Pauline, we come back to you. Time for your second question. In which modern-day country is the city of Hattusa, capital of the Hittite Empire, whose ruins were discovered in 1834? So you can pass this if you're not sure. I'm not entirely sure, Ben, so I think I'm going to have to pass. Right, Richard. Ooh. <laughs> You've got me on that one. <laughs> Geography is not my strong point. OK, so we're looking for a modern-day country. Modern-day country. So the city of Hattusa, <sighs> Hattusa. the capital of the Hittite Empire. I'm just going to go Egypt. Got to go Egypt, yeah. yeah. OK, somewhere over that way. Let's see if you're right, Richard. Is the answer Egypt? No, it's a good try. It's Turkey, in fact. It's oh, in Turkey. Turkey. Right. Pauline, you get the counter. Right. I think I'll go for drop zone three, Ben, okay. please. OK, drop zone three it is. I want to drop over to the left. Oh, in the middle. Ooh, might take that silver counter out right in the middle. Yeah, it does. Come on, come on, come Couple on. We're going to go come here. On, come on, please. 
Oh, three peel themselves you. off. 150 pounds for those three, Pauline. Nicely done. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. It's going to put you on 2,050 pounds. Control comes back to you, Richard. Time for your second question. In June 2019, which Toronto-based basketball team became the first Canadian team to win the NBA Finals? Toronto-based. I'm going to play this one. OK, you into the NBA? There is one Toronto team that I know of. Right. And that's the Raptors. You going with the Raptors, then? Yes, mm. if that's all right. Pauline, did you have any ideas? Ooh. I'm not a big basketball fan, no. I must admit, so That's I would have just right. said Toronto Bulls or... You might have said Toronto yeah, Bulls, something yeah. something like that. OK. Yeah. Richard's gone for it, though. We really need this. Is it the Toronto Raptors? Yes. yes. Mm, well done, well Richard. Done. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Right, we could do with a slam dunk here, couldn't we, Richard? Mm, Try and close definitely. this gap. What are you thinking? I'm seeing a lot more on the top now in drop zone three, so I'm going to go towards that way. Drop zone three? Yeah. Drop zone three it is. You want it on the reactions on the left on the bottom shelf, isn't it? You need the counters out of the machine. That's not bad. Can we get the top to come work? On. Well done, Richard. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, there you go. Good squeeze. Yeah, not bad at all. Well done, yes. Richard. Nice. Six counters for you there. 300 pounds. Chip away a little bit more. Let's take that and put it in your bank. Put your 1,300 pounds. Control comes back to you, Pauline. Right. Time for your third and final okay. question. Bulldozer of the bush, bush is a nickname most associated with a species of what burrowing Australian marsupial? I've lived in Australia, so... Oh, really? Yes. How long were you there? I was just there for 12 months in Brisbane. Nice. I have family there. Any bulldozers in the bush around there? <laughs> Plenty <laughs> kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> You can pass if you're not oh, sure. Oh, I'm going to have to pass, Ben. Can't think Honestly, of it. Honestly, no, I don't. Right, Richard. <laughs> Great chance. What's wallabies, is it? The smaller form of a kangaroo or something? I'm um, terrible with animals. Uh, I'm just going to go for wallaby. Wallaby, you've got to yeah. give me something. Right, let's see, Richard, if you're right. Is it wallaby? No, it's not wallaby. Uh, it's a wombat. Oh, wombat. wombat. A wombat. I'm sure you've heard of a wombat, yes, Richard. Whether you would have come up with it or not, I'm not sure. No. Uh, Pauline, well done. Right. You get the counter because okay, Richard was wrong. Need, Where do you want to go? I need this. Let's go to drop zone two, Ben, please. All right, drop zone two. And I want it to the right, please. Yeah, there's that big gap on the left in there. If you can avoid that, mm -hmm. there is a fair few just dangling on the edge. Right, please. Lovely, yeah, that's right, where yeah. I want it. Thank you. Go on, go on, go on. <gasps> that's it. Can we get a couple Come more Come on, here? please, right on please. Three or four. Ooh. Oh, no. I thought they were just going to drop mm, nice and easy yeah. for you, Pauline, but sadly not. not. So, Richard, we come back to you. Time for your third and final question. The Bromford Viaduct, which is considered to be the longest bridge in the UK, is part of what major motorway? Into your motorways, Richard? No. Nope. I have to use a sat-nav everywhere I go. <laughs> Terrible roads. Um, you can pass it to Pauline if you're not sure. I'm going to have to pass this one. Bromford. Bromford, St Essex. I'm just going to go for the E1. A1? Yeah. So you think you think Bromford is in Essex Way, the A1? I do. Could be that side of the <laughs> I world. Could be wrong. OK. Richard, if you had picked a motorway, what might you have gone for? M4. M4, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see if you're right, Pauline. Has Pauline got the right answer? Is it the A1? No, it's not. I think you've confused it with it's Romford, the... yes, which is Romford, in Essex. that's right. Uh, it's the M6, actually. So it's up near the Midlands. Right. It's about 3.5 miles long, apparently. Oh. A little bit of motorway information for you. There, <laughs> there you go. You can enjoy that. That's when Thank you, you. Travel home this afternoon. <laughs> Richard, you get the counter. Uh, good pass in the end. Now, a bit of a challenge for you here, because it's the last one in this round. Where do you fancy going? I'm going to play a risk. I'm going to go for drop zone two, mostly because it's a bit too far over for drop zone three. Yeah. That nice little yeah. hive. So okay. drop zone two, please. Drop zone two, please. <laughs> OK. It's a nice side. If mm. the mystery comes down with a few others, it would be good. Oh, oh no, oh. Richard. <laughs> You've been teased and toyed with by our machine. <sighs> Well, yeah, again. It's not going it? to give. It's not going to deliver, I'm afraid. So the scores stay as they were, which means at the end of the round, Pauline, very well done. With £2,050, you. You. you are today's winner. Well done, you. Richard, I'm afraid that means with £1,300, you've been great no fun. Problem. But we have found your tipping point. Of course, you have won your speedboat yes. experience, Richard. So Thanks so much for playing. Always. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. So, Pauline, as our champion, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. This one's bigger and better than all the others. Get this one out. You're going to go home with £10,000. 
And we've still got a double on the bottom yep. shelf of Drop Zone 4 there, Pauline. If you get the two to go together, you'd leave with £20,000. Can Pauline master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Pauline is our winner today and has managed to get £2,050. Well done, Pauline. Thank you. You've Thank seen you, off ben. the boys. They are gone, long gone. Now yeah, it's just girl you. Power. Cutting girl, girl power, indeed. Power. Now it's just you and the machine and the chance to go home with our jackpot today, Pauline. Have you had a think about what you might like to do with the money? Were we to get it out? My daughter lives in Manhattan, oh, wow. New York, and I would love to spend it to go on holiday and maybe take her on holiday somewhere out of New York. Fantastic. How Relax. long has she been over there? She's been there eight years now, Ben. Goodness, what an amazing place to yeah, live. Uh -huh. Wow. Do you get very to go out there much? A little bit. You once know. or twice? Yeah, once or twice, but it's uh, very busy, so it it's is. nice for her to get out of the city. Amazing. So, yes, that would be well, lovely. Well, if we can get you the jackpot, yeah. you'd be able to go off and have a fantastic uh -huh. adventure over there in the States. Fingers crossed. Yep. That'd be lovely That'll to be do great. over that money. Time to find out whether Pauline's going to win our jackpot in a few moments. I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. Right. You want to go home with £10,000? Pauline, just need to get it out again. Fancy going home with 20 grand, see if you can get it to drop with the double that's sitting now on the bottom shelf. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two, or three counts into the machine. Right. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chance of getting the jackpot counter out. OK. It's as simple as that. Right. What are you thinking about with our jackpot counter, Pauline? Where's it going to go? Well, Ben, having a look at all of them, I'm very drawn to drop zone four because we've got that counter on the bottom. The double. The double counter. So I think I'm going to go for drop zone four, Ben. Sounds like please. a plan. Light up four, please. Oh, Lovely. yes. That's where I want it to the side, please. Go sliding in. Go Is the double going to spy? Come on, come on. It was a little bit over the top. It's just nope. going to set nicely. Set That's OK. Up. We've got Lovely. the jackpot counter nice right. and flat, though. The double's just going to sit and wait patiently for the jackpot to arrive. We don't want it going too soon. Let's have a look at your categories then, Pauline. This is what we have for you. TV, art, geography, food and drink, astronomy and music. You can play them in any order. So where do you want to start for how many? I'm going to just start at the top okay. and go, go down at the bottom. Lovely. Yep. TV to start with then. So we'll go for TV. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to go for three counters, please, Ben. TV for three counters, please. In the 2020 Netflix series, Emily in Paris, which British-born actress plays the title role of Emily Cooper? Daisy Edgar-Jones, Olivia Colman or Lily Collins? Well, I know Olivia Colman and I don't think she played Emily in Paris because I think that's a bit a young, it's a young role. Daisy Edgar-Jones, I haven't heard of. Um, so, Ben, I think I'm going to go for Lily Collins. Lily Collins? Please, yes. All right, we're going to line up Lily Collins, please. So, you think Olivia Colman's a little bit too old. You're mm -hmm. not sure about Daisy Edgar-Jones, the one you know there. Is it Lily Collins? Yes. Thank well you. Well done, you. Daisy Edgar-Jones was a normal I, I didn't people. mean Olivia was old. <laughs> no, 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 we understand. Mature. Daisy Edgar-Jones was a normal people. She played Marianne in Normal People. Uh, three counters to get you started. Lovely start. OK, lovely, Drop thank four. you. Drop zone four, please, Ben. Up. Oh, Ooh, never mind, never Didn't mind. Didn't quite the get to that yeah. Might just fill a hole as well. Yes. Okay. Two more to go. A hole. Four again? Yes. Four Hold again, up. please, Ben. Come on, to the right, to the right. Oh, it likes the left. Suddenly it does, doesn't it? in the left. OK. No, nothing there. One more to go. Drop some four. Drop some four, please, Ben. Light it up, please. Come on, machine, please. Ooh, that's That'll better. That'll do, lovely. That's better. We'll push over the top. No, okay. Yes, thank you. More, come on. And lovely. we'll take those three. 150 pounds, drop in. Thank you, Ben. So we didn't get to the jackpot counter, but the mm -hmm. money's gone up to 2,200 pounds. Let's go back to the categories. We're working our way down then, Pauline. Nice. So, okay. taking out TV. Next is art for how many? Let's just go for three counters, Ben. Okay. Art. Art for threes. Please. Which of the following artists is considered to be one of the Dutch masters? Pablo Picasso, Johan Vermeer, or Salvador Dali? I think Pablo Picasso is Spanish, and Salvador Dali doesn't sound Dutch. 
I'm going to go for Johan Vermeer, as I think he's the only Dutch one okay. amongst those three. Let's light please. it up, please. Let's see if you're right. Is it Johan Vermeer? It is, yes. Thank you. Of course, Girl with the Pearl Earring yes, that they made right. into a film with Scarlett Johansson. This is a very famous picture. Right, three counters. Good work. Right, drop zone four, please, Ben. Let's have drop zone four. Just Ooh, a bit too don't far ride. right. Don't ride, please. Get down. Don't ride. Go flat, flat. Yeah, there yes, we go. Flat. Come on, just one over. That'll do. Oh, yeah, couple lovely. Here. Thank you. Couple on the edge that should yeah. go for you, Pauline. And they do. Two That's counters. Lovely. Thank you, Ben. Takes up to two thousand three hundred pounds. Can I have drops on four, please, Ben? Four again, please. Mm -hmm. To I think there. it's just going to fill that gap. Oh, got a little nudge on it. Got one, two. Okay, is come this going to shift the double out? Come on, come on. Yes, it is. Oh. Okay, four counters go in. Two hundred pounds for those four. Lovely, thank you. It takes up to two thousand five hundred pounds, but the double drops, so we can give you another two hundred pounds. Takes us up very nicely to two thousand seven hundred pounds. Thank you. Right, Ben, we'll just go for drop zone four again. Drop zone four again, please. Just want it to the right a little bit. On the deck one. Drop left, roll right. Ah, oh, it's like right in the left. It is. Well, we've put six yeah. in so far, and not one of them on. landed on. near the jackpot. It's a few. But there's three here that can go. And they do. Thank you. Another £150 for you. So the money's going up nicely, Pauline. You're doing mm -hmm. a good job taking out the counters up to 2850 Just stalling on the jackpot. Let's go back to the categories. Geography is next. I think we'll just go for three counters, please, Ben. Geography for three. The London skyscraper 30 St Mary Axe is better known by what nickname? The Shard, the Gherkin or the Cheese Grater? Have you heard of the buildings? I have heard of them. Do you know where they are in London? No, I think the Shard is very much near the river. It's going to be a total guess, Ben. I'm going to have to go for um, the Shard. Go with the Shard? Yes, we'll go for the Shard. We're going with the Shard, please. Do you think it's somewhere near the yeah, river compared to yeah. the other two? Is the answer the shard? No. It's the gherkin, actually. The, gherkin. the shard is on London Bridge Street. So you're absolutely right. right. It is right by yeah. the river there. Um, but it's the gherkin that's on the gherkin. St. Right. Mary Axe. Okay. okay, not okay. to worry. Let's go back to the categories. Food and drink is next. Right, well, I'll go for food and drink for three, please, Ben. For three, please. In 2021, after finding difficulty marketing to British buyers, it was suggested that which seafood should be rebranded as Cornish crab? crab? Velvet crab, hermit crab, or spider crab? Right. Rebranded as a Cornish crab. I think I'd rather eat it if it was called Cornish crab instead of the spider crab. So I think I'm going to go for spider crab. Then. Spider crab? Yes, please. Yeah, we're going to light up spider crab. Mm -hmm. See if you're right. Was it spider crab? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Thank well you. done. So, three more counters. Drop zone four, please, Ben. Light it up. That's where it's got to be. Come on now. Oh, that's better. That'll yes, do. yes, Go yes. Go on. Go on. Finally, we got it moving. Push that. Love. Lovely. That looks good, doesn't it, Paul? That's good. It's right on the edge. Top shelf. Have a few. Thank you. Fifty pound drops in. Let's give you another fifty pounds. Take to two thousand nine hundred. Two more. Right, drop zone four, please, Ben. Where you went the last time, please. Oh, Ooh, just a touch oh, too far. Oh, that'll do. Might get a bit of push. No. Come on. Yeah, Thank couple you. more drop in. Thank you. Another hundred pounds. Takes you up to three thousand pounds. Got one more to go in, Pauline. Right, it's got to be drop zone four, please, Ben. Okay, drop zone four, please. Don't ride, please. Ooh, Don't ride. Go flat. Go flat. Go flat. Go flat. Yes. Thank you. There you go. Oh, make it a bit of lateral. I don't, don't know. Going to slide that silver one it, much oh. tighter behind it. Couple right, going go over on, here. Go on. Fifty pounds drops in. Thank takes you. to three thousand and fifty pounds. 
So we can see what we've got to do. We did get mm -hmm. it moving, which is good. Mm -hmm. First one we've had on it. Yep. Got to keep those correct answers coming. Let's have a look at the categories. Well, astronomy's not one of my be better subjects, but let's go for three. Let's go for astronomy three. for three. Yep. Which of these terms is sometimes used to mean the gravitational pull of a planet or moon used to accelerate a spacecraft? spacecraft? Lasso, slingshot or crossbow? All of them sound like they could accelerate a spacecraft. Crossbow, no, that's um, lasso, it's catching something. Let's go with slingshot, please. Slingshot? Yes, yeah, slingshot, please. Okay, we're going to go with slingshot. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer slingshot? Yeah, well done. Right. Right, Ben, let's go for drop zone four then, please. Let's have drop zone four. We could do with a slingshot to get that yeah, jackpot moving, couldn't we? There. That's Ooh, it, just there. Nice, go on, nice, go nice. On. Come on, over the top. Oh. Lovely stuff. Fab. Come on then, Pauline. Fabulous. Go on. Two counters drop in. Let's Thank give you £100. You. The money's going up nicely again. <gasps> 3150 Pauline. Mm -hmm. Jackpot counters on the bottom shelf. Two more to go in. Drop on four, please, Ben. Let's have four again. There it was. Oh, it likes that left side, doesn't it? We've had a lot yeah, down there. You're right. I think that'll just fill that gap. So one might drop but in. Yeah. Go. Another £50. £3,200 in the machine. Right. Drop zone four, please, Ben. Drop zone four, please. Oh, that left side again. It is flat. It's flat, yep. Come we'll on, get a little bit. Black one over. Mm. Might take out the black one in the front as well. Yeah, if you do get it down. Yeah. Does it want to go? No, it doesn't uh, want to no. go. Okay. No, Ben. Right, let's go back to the categories. We can still do this, Pauline. We need one more <laughs> correct answer, though. Music. Right. OK. Well, let's go for three, Ben. Music for three. Yep. That silver counter did just drop. Let's just see. It's all yours now, so if anything goes, you can add it in. Yeah, lovely oh, stuff. Oh, thank you. Three counters go in, Pauline. Let's lovely. add that into the bank. It takes you up to £3,350. Thank you. We're going to go music for three counters, please. House of Fun was the only UK number one single for which British band? Madness, Arctic Monkeys, or Blur? I think I've, I've danced a lot to this in Newcastle <laughs> <laughs> at some point. Um, I don't think it's Blur or Arctic Monkeys. I'm going to go for Madness. Madness? Then. Yes, I'm please. Like that madness, please. See if you're right. Three more counters. We could get the jackpot out. Is the answer Madness? Yeah, 1982. Thank you. Two weeks number one. <laughs> well done. Three counters for us here then, Pauline. Let's get it shifted. Right, come on, drop zone four, please, Ben. Four up, please. Right, come on, machine. To the right, to the right. Oh. Anything here that's so Come on, if that one. Four. Oh. That's enough. 50 pounds drops in. Money's okay. going up. 3,400 pounds. Keeping the money ticking over. Two more to go in. Right, let's go for drop zone four, Ben, please. Drop zone four it is. On the mic. Come on. Come back now. Oh, oh it's don't ride, please, don't ride. It is flat. Oh, it's flat. Go on, bit, bit of lateral, get that silver one. Wouldn't it be good? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no. Anything come here? On, maybe. Anything? Come on, come on. Two oh. counters go there, though. Let's give you £100 for those two. £3,500. Mm. One more to put in, then, Pauline. OK. Right, drop zone four, please, Ben. Let's have drop zone four. Oh, Ben, it just loves that left side. It has. We've had a lot <laughs> down there. If the jackpot had been there, it would have been I in know. the pub by now. Good squeeze. Come on, come on. Another £100 for Two. you, Pauline. Takes up to £3,600 in the machine. Oh, it's been really hard work. Oh. You've battled really hard. You've done brilliant with the questions and the categories. We're out of those, but it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance mm -hmm. to leave today with £10,000. As things stand, you've got £3,600. You can walk mm -hmm. away with that money right now or you could trade it for three counters to put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trades, I'm sure you know, nothing else has any value whatsoever. Right, yeah. You'll either leave with £10,000 or you leave with no cash. Do you think three would be enough? I think the machine is like the left side, and in view of that, 
I'm not sure, but I don't, I don't think I'd like to take the chance. OK, I'll ask no. you one last time. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'd like to take the money, Ben. Well done, Pauline. £3,600, lovely Thank amount you. of money. You get yourself to see your daughter in Manhattan, yes. maybe go on a lovely trip mm -hmm. up to Long Island. Yeah. Fantastic round there, you'll love it. We are going to play out the trade, though, and we're going to see if three would have been enough to get it out. Job one. So we would have needed both of these in the right place. Drop two. A little nudge on it, but I don't think it's, it's going to be gap, much more, is it? Yeah. Yep. This was the third and final drop. Absolutely right. That was not yeah. a risk that was worth taking because we didn't get anywhere near it. No, just loves that left side, Ben, the whole Wasn't time. Wasn't to be, sadly, nope. but £3,600 is a lovely mm -hmm. amount of money, Pauline. Mm -hmm. Have you enjoyed yourself? I have. I've had a lovely day. Thank you. It's been a Thank treat for so alongside much. you. Yes. Enjoy the money. Have a fantastic trip to yeah, America. Lovely. Good stuff. There you go. Pauline's leaving with £3,600. She did all she could, answered all the questions she needed to. We just couldn't get the jackpot out today. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. <laughs>